Hello everyone, my name is Lex and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this amazing video, I'm going to be talking about the Swedish work-life balance here in Sweden. Is it a myth or is it a reality? For those of you guys who don't know who I am, my name is Lex. I'm an American that moved here to Sweden over two years ago and I'm sharing my experiences with you here on this YouTube channel. If you guys feel like you guys want to join me on this adventure, the links will be in the description below. And for those who are back in Swedish, I will say Valkomen tillbaka. So first thing is first, I'm going to be talking about the work culture comparisons between Sweden and the United States according to my personal experience. You see me as an American, whenever I had a job, I always had a job uh, with an unstable schedule. And that's because I work in a hospitality business. So it would be days that I'll work from like 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. at night. Then I'll have a shift right back from 7 o'clock to 3 the next day. And that was just straight up work. There was times where I had to work triple shifts uh, because the hotel was short on staff. And the managers were telling me like, hey, you would have to come in because so-and-so was sick. And they wouldn't come in unless it was like an extreme emergency. You know, what I mean? at first my body got accustomed to this after years of working for a hotel and I know how it is and I never paid attention to my health. But then later down the line, I started to get tired, you know, and it, it was beating down on me by working hectic hours in the United States. But working here in Sweden, it's a complete 360 for me like it's a big turnaround for me and that's just simply because when you're working here in Sweden there's certain laws that prohibit uh, the employers from using the employees or mistreating the employees in a certain way for example mostly every company has a union here in Sweden and because as an example I used to work back to back to back shifts in Sweden if you work for the union you are not allowed to have a person work uh, 11 hours in between after they finish getting, uh, after they finish working, of course. Ever since moving here, I felt like the, uh, the hours that I work are reasonable and my employers are really reasonable as well and I'm happy with that. So the second thing for me was the vacation time. In the United States, when it comes to vacation time, when it comes to the employers, they are not mandated to give you any vacation time. Many companies do offer paid vacation time, but uh, if they do, the average is about 10 days per year or whatsoever. In Sweden, it is mandatory for every employer to give their employee 25 paid vacation days. And in some companies, they even offer more paid vacation days, which is crazy. Now, when it comes to parental leave, in the US, they have little to no support whenever you decide to have or take parental leave in the United States. Even if you do get the okay from your employer for you to have parental leave, just know that it's gonna be unpaid. And that's not good if you're a person that has bills to pay and have no other sides of income. In Sweden, however, each parent has at least 240 days of parental leave that they can use at any given time throughout the year after the baby is born. You also have the flexibility of transferring these days over to your partner or you can split them and use them however you like. The good thing about this is, this is a paid parental leave, which is crazy. Now, when it comes to the work atmosphere in the United States, the work culture is more individual and not only that, it's based on hierarchy. Like, for example, if you're the employee, then you have your supervisors, then you have your managers, etc. In Sweden, it's completely opposite. Uh, people don't throw their titles around. They work together to get things done. And I believe that that's one of the most important things for me. And I like that. Now, when it comes to the FICA culture in the United States, if you do take a coffee break, it's like considered to be more personal more than a work-related activity. It's kind of like you're taking your own break and wasting the company's time. In Sweden, on the other hand, it is deeply engraved in the culture for people to take a fika break or AKA a pause from time to time whenever they decide to take a short break. Now, when it comes to the personal experiences of all of these things that I just mentioned, uh, relatively, all of these things are way better here in Sweden than they are typically in the United States. Ever since I moved to Sweden, I no longer have to work crazy long hours, and especially when I got kids here and everything now, I don't have to worry about uh, getting compensated for paid time leave 
or vacation pay because they give you that here in Sweden. I think they give you like 80% of your salary. Uh, parental leave, if I decide to have or bring another kid into this world, I'm definitely bringing them here in Sweden because here in Sweden, uh, I get 240 days of parental leave with pay that I can spend time with my kids. I can use this parental day, for example, in the near future if I want to take them to the United States and do a road trip, kind of like uh, what one of my friends, Jonathan Rollins, did uh, with his kid a while back. And I think that that's cool. My personal experience also when it comes to like the work atmosphere, where I work at now, it's collectively everyone working together. And, you know, I'm not used to that. So I still have this like mental PTSD, the American style, like, oh, my boss is here, you know, uh, maybe I need to tone it down. But no, it's not even like that. So I still have a hard curve trying to get over that and actually be open and cool with my boss uh, because they don't really put their titles uh, to say like, oh, I'm the manager. You can't talk to me about X, Y, Z. They actually allow you to sit with them too whenever you're eating breakfast or lunch with them as well. And knowing the fact that I get a FICA break from time to time to allow me to get a break, like if I'm working long hours and I need a quick coffee or a quick tea or a quick snack or something. This was one of the best things I've ever experienced ever since I started working here in Sweden as well. Now, with all of that being said, I know that a lot of people wanted to know, in my personal opinion, do I believe that this is a myth or is it my reality? And the answer is, it's my reality. The fact that the work-life balance here in Sweden is so stable I'm so grateful to be here in this country to actually experience this because not only do I get to have a more uh, relaxed life, I also get to spend time with my family, my kids, and some of my friends and the people that I love here as well, especially you who are watching this video as well. I got time to do this because of And right now, which is crazy to me, uh, I was on parental leave for three months starting January of this year and it's about to come short this month. I have never had the time to do this in the United States and I'm so glad that I decided to start a family here in Sweden instead because if I was still in the United States I wouldn't be able to do these things. And I'm not gonna lie like the work-life balance here in Sweden I still struggle with it even though they have these generous policies because I still find it so hard to believe like they have this here. Heck, when I tell my friends this over the phone, they think I'm in make-believe land or fairy tale land because that is too good to be true. But I said no to them. They have to experience it themselves because it's different for everyone. Not only that, I also had to mention due to the fact that there isn't a hierarchy uh, system here in Sweden, you still have to establish the individual boundaries and communications with your employer, of course. I tell Swedes all the time, man, you guys should be grateful so much for what you guys have because in the US, man, people would have to get two jobs to at least get a quarter of what we have here in this country. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me giving you information about my personal experience when it comes to work, culture, comparisons, personal experience, and me busting the myth or the reality here in this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content about me as an American living here in Sweden. Until next time, peace. Or in Swedish, they say, hey doll.